Hello, DOYO Live fans of the page. Welcome. My name is Rachel Moore, and I'm excited to be with you right now as a live contributor of the DOYO Live page. And guess what? I'm a live contributor because I'm going to be speaking at DOYO Live for the first time this August, and I hope to see you there. And I'm really excited and thankful that Dennis gave me the opportunity, as well as the rest of the speakers, to all come on here and share with you different things throughout the summer as we're leading up and counting down to DOYO Live happening in August. Are you? Have you made plans to be there yet? Youngstown, Ohio, first week of August? I'm going to be there. I'm excited. It's probably going to be a bit muggy. Let's be honest. I've been in Ohio. I've lived in the Midwest. Um, might be a little sweltery. Fortunately, I think we're all having this indoors so we can actually enjoy the air conditioning. Um, I plan to have a very vivacious workshop on the 3rd, so I'm excited to be there for that. And that's really what I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about. Um, about the workshop I'm going to be having and contributing to with the DOYO Live lineup. So my talk, I know this might shock you, particularly for those of you who might know me in social circles. My talk is going to be about Facebook Live, which is totally appropriate considering I'm using Facebook Live right now to be live with you on the DOYO Live page. But I'm excited about it because my, um, my talk is basically a challenge. It's a challenge to you, those of you particularly who might not be totally convinced that going live is in your best interest, that it's something you should do, that this is anything you need to pay attention to. Perhaps possibly you're thinking it's a passing phase in content marketing. Um, it's not going to last. It'll go by the wayside. It'll turn into what QR codes were. Oh, wait. But those came back. Those actually didn't die off. It's like shoulder pads. These things always come back, right? Fashion circulates around, and so does social media. But live streaming is pretty much here to stay, guys. Um, you know, we think back to many, many, many years ago when websites were considered, oh, that's going to be a passing phase. Not so much. Pretty much everybody, need, if you want to be legitimate online, you have to have a website. Social media, we saw that the same way about 10 to 15 years ago. We're like, well, this, you know, it's going to be this MySpace and Friendster and all these things aren't going to turn into anything. And now we have Facebook, which is pretty much the resource we all go to for everything in all of our lives all the time, right? So we've obviously got these things that have really taken root and become uh, mainstays in our content marketing, which brings me to live streaming. Now, my talk is go live or go home. And essentially, that's a challenge I'm going to issue to the workshop, the people who attend, is that if you've been on the fence until now, until that workshop that you should be going live, I, I'd rather you just go home and let the rest of us get into this live broadcasting thing that is crucial and awesome and the most amazing way right now to engage with your audiences. It's bypassed infographics. It's bypassed awesome blogs. It's bypassed regular videos or GIFs or image carousels. All of those things, you guys. Live streaming is the best way right now <clears throat> to engage, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it, the best way right now to engage with your audiences. And if you aren't tapping into that, you're really missing out. And just like my title says, you're being left in the dust of live streaming. So the workshop I'm teaching at DOYO Live is to go live or go home. All the reasons, the myriad of reasons why you should be going on live streaming. Whether that's Facebook Live or Periscope or Instagram or YouTube or Twitch or other live streaming apps that are out there. I've only named a few. You need to be adding this to your content strategy, okay? And I'm going to provide you with ways and, and different ideas to think about doing that. You may be sitting there right now thinking, I don't know how to go live. I don't know what to say. There's nothing I can say on live stream or show on live stream that would in any way contribute to my business. Not true. I will be showing you guys ways that you can use live streaming, things you may not have thought about, which once you do think about them, I, I'm li literally going to be seeing light bulbs going off over your heads. And I don't know if you guys knew that literally actually is now defined as figuratively in the dictionary. It's really weird. So figuratively, metaphorically speaking, light bulbs will be going off over your heads. You're going to really tap into some vision and excitement for how live streaming can completely fit into your business strategy and help you accomplish some business goals. And that's what we're going to talk about, why you should be going live, because your audience is going live all the time, and they're watching live streams a lot. 
So why not give them live streams of you to watch? And let that become content you can repurpose elsewhere. Point to when people want the uh, answer to a question that they always ask you guys. Or if they not need to know how to use a product or service. Or if they want to know more about you guys and who's running this company and the faces behind the product or the brand, live streaming is the way to go. So please join me at DOYO Live in August. I cannot wait to see you there. Please come to my workshop. Uh, will you accept the challenge to go live or go home? I have a feeling you'll accept the challenge to go live. And I hope to see you there. I hope you accept my challenge to meet me at DOYO Live in Youngstown, Ohio this August. Have a great day, guys. I'm off to go live stream elsewhere. And I'm sure I'll see you soon. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.